Do you have First Peter? Amen. Chapter 1, Amen. verse 7. Amen. What does that say? Amen. That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and, and glory mm -hmm. at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Now, we have your, your faith might be like gold that's tried in the fire. Gold in the Bible represents faith that is purified by fire. Are you with me? Purified by fire. Let's look at fire as a purifier. Go to Psalm 12. Psalm 12. Let's read verse 6 of Psalm 12. The book of Psalms, 12th division, as the, some scholars say, not chapter, but division. And verse 6. Do you have that? Amen. Read with me. What does it say? The words of the Lord are pure. Stop. Now let's find out why they are pure. Keep reading. As silver tried where? In a furnace of the earth, purified seven times. What is a furnace? Fire, hot. The Bible says God's words are pure words, like silver tried in a furnace of the earth. I want you to see the fire is what tries or purifies. So you go back to 1 Peter 1 verse 7, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire. We have fire that tests your faith and purifies the faith. Jesus tells that church, you need that gold, which is faith that has been tested. But nobody likes tests. Nobody likes to try. I have a friend in a country somewhere on the face of the earth going through a very difficult time. And I keep writing to encourage him, but I'm praying, but I also wanted him to understand it could be God trying to get the dross out of your life. Are you following me? God does not purify us with picnics. And uh, shopping sprees. He purifies us with trials. So I sent him as a word. The Lord is purifying you. Let him do it. Jesus told that church in Laodicea. I counsel thee to buy of me. Now notice he didn't command them. He counseled them. The Lord cannot command you to have faith. That has to be your choice. God cannot... You know, even though there are Ten Commandments, he cannot command you to obey them. Are you with me? By the way, the Satan can't command you to sin either. Either way, it's your choice. Are you with me? It's a remarkable position to be in. Here's God, all-powerful. Here's Satan, a lot of power. Neither one can force you to act according to his or her to his wish. You and I have to choose. I counsel thee, buy of me gold. Now, how do you buy gold of God? If gold is faith, you're buying it, what's the currency God wants you to give him? Okay, obedience, obedience, okay. What is it you have that God does, that wants you to get rid of? Sin, yes, yes, sin. Mm -hmm. You give me your sin, what does Jesus say? I'll give you what? My righteousness. Mm -hmm. Give me your sin, every last nickel of it, I'll give you my righteousness. Confess your sins. Receive my faith. My gold. Christ says you need that gold. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire.